Welcome to Andy's Garage. I'm Andy Phillips. I'm actually shooting a follow-up video to a video I posted previously on how to clean your catalytic converter. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, in the in the video that I did, um, if you haven't seen it, you can view it via the link shown above. But basically what I did is I wanted to test out lacquer thinner to see if that was actually a, a proper cleaning method for the catalytic converter. And not only just proper, but to make sure that that was even effective. So we went ahead, we ran a test ran it through the system, then I went ahead and I cleared all the error codes out of the computer. After that point, I went ahead and I drove it an additional 40 miles, no more codes came on. Now, since that time, I've driven an additional 170 miles, still no codes, and I'm about now to uh, check the, the OBD2 um, uh, report off of my Bluetooth device. Let's see how that looks. And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and drive another 40 so miles We'll run it again and then we'll conclude this this kind of this follow-up test and see if it really worked. So let's go ahead and check the OBD now and see if there's any codes. All right, let's go ahead and run it now. It says right there, no fault count no fault codes found so everything is looking good so let's head out okay well everything looked good so we're getting ready to head out now gonna put another like I said 35 45 miles on the car and then we'll do a final check on the computer at that point and see how it looks and conclude it Okay, we just finished another 35 to 40 mile drive. We're gonna go ahead and check the um, computer now, see if any additional codes came up. So let's go ahead and plug into the OBD2 and see what's going on. Let it run its scan. Good. No fault codes found again. All right, well, there you have it. Went ahead and ran another scan. Still no codes. Everything looks good. So at this point, just to kind of give a little recap, and as mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you want to see the actual video where I showed how to clean the catalytic converter using the lacquer thinner, you can do so via the link that was shown at the beginning, and also there will be a thumbnail at the end of this video. What you want to do if, if you're mixing that ratio is you want to go ahead and you want to fill your fuel tank halfway. So depending on what your maximum gallons are, if you got a 10 gallon tank, you'd put five gallons in. If you got a 20 gallon tank, 10 gallons, so forth. So you want to fill your, your gas tank halfway and then afterwards add one gallon of just pure lacquer thinner, just plain old lacquer thinner, one gallon of that to your fuel tank. And that's how you would run that through. You can get lacquer thinner, a gallon container for, I think it's like 18 or 19 bucks at Walmart. It's very cheap. It's a lot cheaper than replacing your catalytic converter. So what we did, we went ahead and put that in. We ran the car. Once it, it was all, all the cleaner with the, the uh, lacquer thinner went through, we went ahead and cleared the computer off, got rid of all codes. We drove it for 40 miles, which is how we ended the first video. No, no uh, sign of any codes. Everything was clear. So now on top of that, We've now gone ahead and we've added roughly about another 200 miles to this car since then as well. So now you're looking at about 240 miles have been put onto this vehicle. I've driven in and out of state with this car since then, tracking it through, through the uh, OBD2 Bluetooth scanner, tracking the ECU for any kind of pending fault codes or just any kind of errors that it's generating, everything is clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and end off this video by saying it looks like the lacquer thinner did do the job. We've got over 200, like I said, between 230 to 240 miles that we put on the car since we reset everything. After we ran that solution through it, everything looks good. So that wraps up this video, which is pretty much just a follow up on that initial video, because I know some people were asking, hey, what's it gonna do in time? And I think 240 miles, I think is a pretty good assessment of that the codes are clear. So please send me any questions, any comments. I would love to hear from you. As always, I appreciate all the support out there. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.